because, again, if he's healthy, I believe Joe Burrow is a game changer. Well, you said if Burrow's healthy, who can they not be? The Baltimore Ravens, I believe we've seen that time and time again because football is about more than the quarterback. You know that, Stephen A. If it was just about the quarterback, I might be on Cincinnati with you because I think Burrow is obviously fantastic and we've seen him go you know, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mahomes at points. But the Cincinnati Bengals team-wide, when you look at their entire roster, I would put them behind both the Ravens in the AFC and then the San Francisco 49ers in the AFC as being a bigger threat to Kansas City. Um, you talked about the weapons. It's going to be hard to bring all three of those wide receivers back. Uh, Tyler Boyd's a free agent. I, I think it's possible that they franchise tag Higgins, but that will make it hard to fill out the rest of the roster, and that's where you really run into trouble with this team. So last season, put away the quarterbacks, last season the Baltimore Ravens finished second in defensive EPA per play. The San Francisco 49ers, who just fired the defensive coordinator, finished sixth. The Cincinnati Bengals finished 25th. And I don't see a, a, a very clear path to improvement because of what I mentioned in terms of the rest of their roster. So I'm looking at these teams as complete rosters when I think about who can threaten Kansas City. And when you look at both sides of the football, as much as I love Joe Burrow, as much as I fear him, I think both the Ravens and the 49ers are more complete teams.